Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And I am so happy that you could join me for another planner video. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to be setting up my weekly spread in my Four Lizard um, vertical planner. So my Four Lizard planner, I have a whole planner. It's one of my planets in my planner solar system. I have a, a whole planner dedicated to uh, planning out my YouTube channel and all of my like social medias. So uh, mostly YouTube, but I am dabbling a little bit in Instagram and Twitter. I'm trying to keep those platforms active. And um, eventually, you know, <laughs> I want to, you know, turn it into a business. I would love to open up a small sticker shop and just put out my art for people to, you know, use in their planners. I think that would be a lot of fun. I would love to create a line of, of planner, um, planner stickers and planner supplies, but that is, you know, 10 years in the future, but I figured, you know, starting now, I I want to uh, really grow and develop my YouTube channel and just continue to build it. So that's what this planner is for. Um, I'm here in one of my mega happy planners, which actually I don't really show this planner a lot on camera just because um, I don't work in it as much and it's a little bit messier than my other one my other nice mega happy planner so you're gonna see a sneak peek into uh, one of the more hidden planners in my lineup anyways long story short if you're interested in seeing how I set up my four lizard uh, planner which I use a vertical style happy planner and how I plan to you know grow and develop my YouTube channel just keep on watching. So this is I think the third or fourth planner in this particular uh, mega happy planner. I have a Franken planner, I have a couple of planners uh, Franken planned into this one planner and I separate this section from all the other sections or from the previous section. Uh, the, my budget section is um, the one right before this. I separate it with this really beautiful vision board. Um, and I'm still playing around with what I want to do with this vision board. But right now I've been kind of just taking photos of my planner and thumbnails. And when I'm out and about like at coffee shops and I have like a nice latte art, I'll take a photo. And I've just been popping those uh, photos into this vision board because it just makes me really happy to see, you know, some of my favorite thumbnails and how I actually use my planner. And we have my uh, dashboard here, which marks where I currently am in the weekly. And I already switched out my weeklies for this planner uh, because we're right about to get into the month of April and it's currently Sunday, April the 3rd. Uh, so that's why I still have this page in left because this is the last week in March, but I have um, the month of April starting. So I just have this one random page here. Usually I clip it to like the previous page. That way I can just go straight into the April overview, but because we're still, you know, I switched out everything, I think on Friday, and then I wanted to have this page for um, for the weekend. So this was uh, just the last page in my weekly, and let me grab my pen. So I actually finished these two tasks, oops. And I have a couple of tasks here for me to do. Um, for today. I also am going to uh, film a couple of videos today, so I have that list here, and uh, I'm actually filming this one right now, the social media plan with me, so I can even go ahead and mark that as done because it's going to be done in a second here. So I want to film these couple of videos, and um, yeah, so Let's see. I'll just do. I'll just show you a quick flip through of how I use this planner. The monthly overview. I haven't really gotten around to using it too much. Sometimes I'll use it as a brain dump spot, but a lot of the times I just kind of leave it blank. 
This is the April divider. Um, cute, but not my favorite. And then we have the monthly overview, which uh, I am very simple with my monthly overview. This is where I keep track of all the videos I publish in a month. And also I just take a note of how many subscribers I have at the beginning of the month. And at the end of the month, I'll check in with that again. And here on the side, I'll check in with how many videos I publish total in the month. So that is basically the monthly overview. Every time I publish a video, I'll pop down a box sticker and then write down the title of the video and the amount of views it received. So that way at a glance, I can kind of see in a month what was the most well-received, what was the least well-received, things like that. So that is that. And then now we're gonna get into um, the actual plan with me. So I'm gonna pull these off the discs. I used to uh, plan on the discs almost exclusively. I just didn't really care to take the pages off the discs, but my planners have gotten so chunky that it's kind of hard to, um, to plan on the discs. So we're gonna have to take them off. Uh, so we'll just have um, the pages here, make sure everything is in frame. And the theme that I go for in this planner is the Miss Maker theme because it's perfect. This is my YouTube channel, which is really like focusing on planning and paper crafting. Um, I still want to do other types of videos like makeup and beauty videos, like vlogging, um, like adventure style videos uh, because I like to hike and backpack and road trip a lot. I want to do science communication videos. I want to do spirituality videos. But right now I'm really, really enjoying paper crafting, creative planning, so I think this is going to be the main focus of my channel for a while. Um, and yeah, so I have my Miss Maker sticker book here. I have a bunch of washi tape here and I have some stamps. Um, I have my pen case here. So I think we're good to go. Okay, and I recently switched up how I set up this uh, social media um, for lizard planner setup. I use the vertical, which the vertical is um, probably one of my favorite styles because it's so versatile, it's so adaptable. And I just, I think you can do a lot with it. There's a lot of different ways you can, um, can work with it. And right now I've been loving um, setting it up uh, in sections. So each section is its own uh, thing. So let me grab uh, some quarter boxes because I use those to label uh, I use those to label the, um, the pages here. Let's see, let me grab some of these pastel uh, quarter boxes. This is the rainbow boxes mega sticker book, which was such a genius idea on happy planners part. So I'm going to uh, label these here like so. And I'm actually going to leave this one unlabeled because it has that checklist. And for me, that is like obviously my to-do list. So I'm going to leave that one blank. But then these two sections um, I use for two different things. The first section up here is gonna be my filming and, um, yeah, my filming schedule. So I'll write filming schedule, filming, and then publishing. So in this uh, top row here, I'll make a note of when I want to uh, film videos, when I want to publish them. It's kind of like, my yeah just like my video schedule i guess um and then the middle section the middle row is just my to-do list so that's kind of like editing uh you know finding uh, uh taking thumbnails if i haven't taken them already uh, posting on instagram posting on twitter and it's kind of more of like to-do lists that I can check off. And then the last uh, row down here is my brainstorm, uh, my brainstorm row. 
And this is where I jot down ideas that I have during the day about potential videos that I want to film. Just, you know, it's kind of the catch all, you know, brain dump section. So we have like my schedule up here, my to do list here, and then lastly, my brainstorm section down here. And I'm actually going to publish, uh, let's see, let me see if this book has some uh, kind of like quarter or half boxes. Mm, I like these the sizes of these boxes, but I don't want them to have bullet points inside. I might have to reach for my uh, rainbow box sticker book because this, this sticker book has a lot of full boxes which is awesome, but sometimes a girl wants a half box and not a full box, even like a quarter box, like one of these guys will do. So I'm gonna give myself a box for every video that I am publishing. This week I'm planning on publishing on a Monday and I'm also thinking of publishing on Wednesday and then publishing on Friday as well and also publishing on Saturday. Oh, this one's a lot shorter of a box. What's going on? I'm publishing on Saturday as well, so I'll pop that down there. And then I actually think I'm going to publish on Sunday as well. Yeah, I just have been in the mood to film YouTube videos. My week was so busy for like a good while there and I just got away from filming, but I, I'm thinking of really getting back into filming and prioritizing filming. And this week I just was feeling it. I was able to film videos pretty quickly, which is kind of rare for me. I do, I am like one of those people that takes like 10 takes to start a video. I like keep on messing up. I like get tongue tied. And lately I've just been trying to embrace like my imperfections and try not to spend too much time in editing just so that I can get content out quicker. And also so my content is feels like a little bit more authentic and real and comes with all the nitty gritty and it's not just like this scripted performance where every beat is perfect. I mean, not to say that like my videos are perfect, but I am, you know, as we all are, I feel like a perfectionist and sometimes I kind of let that get the best of me. So we have the boxes here representing everything that I'm publishing and in terms of filming, I think I might use um, to-do boxes, maybe, like to-do boxes. I think I might film on Friday. I think that's a good day for me to film. And I also am thinking of filming on Sunday, so we'll pop that down there as well. And Saturday will be like my... Uh, my like household day Saturday maybe I'll try to go on a hike um that's something that I haven't been able to get to oh Saturday and Sunday I might be really busy because I have I'm trying to have a garage sale going on uh, to get rid of some stuff I'm trying to get that out of my garage so Friday and Sunday seem to be good filming days I tend to film mostly on these days because the week is so packed so actually, I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I'll, I'll write everything um, later. So we have my filming and my publishing schedule. And then now uh, for the brainstorm part, I don't really like have, um, I don't really have like too intense of like a way I decorate this, but I'm gonna grab these full box uh, stickers and pop them down here. This one just says new idea. Um, I'll add that there. And then at this point, like everything that I, um, everything that I want to have down on paper is down on paper. Again, I'm a very functional planner. For me, it's all about, you know, setting up the game plan and then later decorating it. For me, I don't like, 
I place my stickers with very with with intention. There's I I tend to like for the most part, for the majority of my planners. There's some planners I'm not like this. Um, my more creative planners, but this planner for me is very functional. So every sticker box is kind of like placed with an idea that it's gonna like. I place it there for a specific reason, and I know what's gonna. I know what I need to write in it, and I don't just like place stickers willy nilly and then fill them in after the fact. Like each sticker has its own intention, if that makes sense. But once everything is down, uh, then I can like uh, allow myself to to just play around and have fun. So. I tend to always put these uh, full box stickers on the sidebar. I think it's a really fun and easy way to like make your spread feel complete because the sidebar is such a nice uh, section, but I feel like I can't fill it up too much because it's so large and I don't really have, you know, because I have so many planners, each one is very like, like I split each section of my life into a planner and sometimes it's nice to have the, all that organization but sometimes I don't need all the space of like a full classic weekly page and so it feels kind of empty and so thankfully you know I have tons of stickers we all have tons of stickers so you can fill up that empty space and make it feel full so I'll just pop in some uh, full box stickers down there let's see if I can find another full box. Let's see. Make all the pretty things. This one right here. This one's really cute. It has like buttons. Very cute. I want to get into sewing and like fabric crafts some more, but I feel like that is such a high learning curve and I'm already having way too much fun with paper crafting and so, you know, I barely have time in my day to do my paper crafting. So, I can't be picking up hobbies all the time. So what I like to use these full box stickers down here in the brainstorm, it kind of like uh, triggers me or like um, alerts me to the fact that I need to be brainstorming videos. The worst thing is coming up to the weekend and like having no idea like of what I want to film. And so I try to brainstorm throughout the week about like what it is I want to film, what am I in the mood to film, and that way it also kind of prepares me for if I need to like, you know, um, film in a certain location or film with certain items, I know that I have those at hand once I'm in front of the camera. So this box here is kind of alerting me that on Tuesday I kind of want to brain dump, brainstorm. So. I'm going to give myself that box and then I think I might give myself another one on Thursday as well. So Tuesday and Thursday this week are going to be my brainstorm uh, days. So I'll pop this one here as well. Let's put that down there. Very cool. And I kind of want to use some of the Simply Gilded washi tape that I got in my subscription box. I've been loving my Simply Gilded uh, paper crafting washi tape items. They're really, really cute. And I'm obsessed with this rainbow washi tape. So I'm just going to add some here and there just for fun. I think that's really, really cute. And I'm gonna add this yellow one also just down here. This one is a nice glitter washi. Their washi tape is all uh, kind of transparent. There's like a, it's not super opaque. I've had washi tape that's really, really opaque. It completely covers up anything behind it, but their washi tape is a little bit transparent which I don't mind at all I think that's that's really cool so I kind of want to add some deco I think I'm gonna get rid of this page I'm just gonna pull this out and use the last of this deco um, I'll just sprinkle it throughout the the top here so very cute we've got buttons we've got glue we've got scissors the scissors is kind of big 
I might have two. Maybe I'll put it like that. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about um, this spread. And the last thing I'm gonna do is jump into my Flower Power sticker book because we are in spring and I've been sprinkling um, flower, floral things throughout my spreads, even though they're not necessarily like a floral, you know, themed spreads. So I'm just gonna flip through this and see if there's anything that I would like to um, pull for. I really like these florals here, so I might grab one of those. Yeah, I'm gonna try for one of these like big pink, ooh, like, I don't know what these are called, but I'll try for those. And then maybe one of these green leaves. And I also really like these little, like, I don't know what these are called, <laughs> I don't know. I wish I knew more about flowers, like flower names. There, and I think that's good. I'm happy with how the spread turned out. Really, really simple. I'm gonna go ahead and write down everything that I need to write down in the boxes. So on Monday, I'm going to publish um, what is this called? Uh, spiritual, my spiritual um, monthly plan with me. So spiritual. Wednesday, I wanna publish my social media plan with me. So this is what, uh, I hope you'll see this on Wednesday. That means that I am sticking to the plan. So that's that. this video that you're seeing today, I'm going to publish it on Wednesday. And then on Friday, I'm going to publish um, my gravy um, review video. This is gonna be an exciting video for me um, because I got sent a product for the first time in my life. I got sent something from a company who wanted me to make a video on it on my YouTube. So I'm gonna do that. And then Saturday, I'm going to publish I'm gonna publish my weekly um, desk pad plan with me. That's a new video I'm gonna be trying to do, which I'm gonna do a plan with me um, using my desk pad. So that's this guy here. I never show these on my channel because I tend to always be very like functional with it and not very decorative, but I thought it would be fun to show you all how I, like one of the tools I use to set up my week. So we have that. And then on Sunday, we're going to publish my daily agenda plan with me. So I'm going to film that right now. And I'm excited for that one as well because I'm gonna be using this new product that I got from Hobby Lobby. This is one of the new, um, one of the things that released in the new Happy Planner release. This is from their like Bold and Bright collection and I just absolutely love it. I love it so much. I love daily agenda pages. I'm always looking for daily agenda pages in different styles and formats. And I really like this one. I love how it is um, like pre-punched for you so you can slide these into your classic. A nice long list, to-do list. Uh, I love the font and the colorful elements here. Just a big blue box here on the side for whatever you want to do. And then lastly, like a grid section for calls and emails, but honestly, I'll probably, um, I'm not sure what I'll do here. Probably just decorate it and maybe like brain dump on there. Um, but I'm excited to play around with this. So that is going to be published on Sunday, even though I'm going to be filming um, this weekend. And then here I'm going to do film and then film and I'm going to try to film 
three videos on a Friday and then two videos on Sunday. So I have five videos going out next week. So I'll have that. And then for the to-do list, let's start over here. Um, I want to, let's see. I'm going to have to, okay, so for Monday, I think I'm going to have to edit social media plan with me. And then I think I'm going to try to edit the gravy review. And Tuesday, I'm going to edit the desk pad plan with me and then also edit the daily plan with me so we have that and then i gotta do um gotta post on instagram and twitter so i'll just put twitter here I got a post on Instagram, post on Twitter as well for this video. I'm trying to, the day that I release a video, I'm trying to post a thumbnail to Instagram and Twitter to keep it kind of consistent. So I have that. I also want to brainstorm. I need to brainstorm new videos for the weekend. And then we have that Thursday brainstorm. And let's see. So anything else I want to do? Um, film videos. So there we go. Film videos. Post on IG post on Twitter for the gravy review video, post on IG, post on IG, post on Twitter, so there we go. So we have everything set up here. Oh, and then also film videos and I do want to um, I think I'm gonna try to answer comments answer comments on Friday so that's something I need to always kind of like make time and space and energy for answer comments on um, YouTube and I think that's it. I think we're good. I think this is the game plan for my YouTube channel. I love how it turned out. It's really simple, really functional, but it's it served its purpose. It's got me like thinking about, you know, a week ahead, what do I want to do, what kind of videos I want to film. Um, I've set up, I set up time for myself to like think, to just think and think about like fresh new content for my channel. I have my publication schedule up here, my filming schedule. So I know, you know, those days are when I'm going to continue to develop this. And as the week goes on, I'll add more things to my to-do lists. I'll add more decoration. I'll add more writing down here in the brainstorm area. But otherwise, I think I'm good. I'm happy with how it turned out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much once again for supporting my channel. It really means a lot to me. And I hope this was fun for you to see like a behind the scenes, like sneak peek into, you know, how I maintain my YouTube channel. All right, everyone, take care and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.